another day another episode of the minecraft guide welcome back everybody my name is waddles and welcome to of course of course the minecraft guide episode seven <laughs> i got it i i have i haven't forgot quite yet uh no uh we have two goals today uh we are in our uh nor now eh, english uh our now more expanded cave hole thing uh well i'd like to make this even better and then today uh we will be going over the brand new furnace upgrades now now this isn't a furnace upgrade but <laughs> it came at the same time as those things so so that's what i'm symbolizing um uh, the furnace upgrades with but a little side note uh this is the first video i'm recording in my new house and and it feels so different it, it feels super nice and and yeah we talked about it uh yesterday and in, in the or the time lapse chat but yep uh so um yep <laughs> if things are a little different i'm sorry uh, I'm, I'm working on it uh trying to fix stuff but let's start off by going down here and taking a look at the animals so um off camera i did a little bit of farming i expanded our um, farm a little bit because i ran out of storage actually so i decided that it was time and definitely time way overdue for a, a a wheat barrel so this is where all of our wheat will go until we have a better situation and then over here is everything else and my diamonds for <laughs> a, a reason I, I want to keep my first diamond separate so we can put it in a frame and, and make it all fancy and everything uh but i need to get on the cow stuff and and breed these guys up a little better i i haven't been doing the best at it uh that's the problem with these animal pens uh sometimes like you can set these things up and they're wonderful but you forget to actually use them so we'll breed them i'll kill them later that's a little violent um and on to the decoration so i need some cobblestone by the way i cleaned my inventory i saw you guys um <laughs> sorry it, it gets messy i know um yeah, i know <laughs> I'm, I'm going to work on it through the series and stuff i promise i'm not like a new player it's ah i've just never been good at it since like 2012. <laughs> now first off i think in here we could definitely add like a water source somewhere not necessarily one that we use but like a decoration one so if i pull that out and i say like maybe here and then you know we might as well make this one that i can use so we'll dig this stuff out in there and then i think we could say all of this becomes water water is of course very very good to have uh at at pretty much instant access whenever you're doing any kinds of projects also the water tone in here i think would would help make things a little more alive now it's not really that visible right, right there so maybe we we do this maybe we can move this vine thing that i hung and do hmm well that would have to go like that at least temporarily and then we'd have to spill the water from there i think i would like that more because then we can actually see the water right so so we'll do the water there and then of course we need a second water bucket uh i i need better yeah, like a better pond thing too so uh this is where i'd like you guys to go down below in the comments and and tell me uh your your favorite base idea it doesn't mean that i'm going to do it but i'm i'm trying to come up with some some really good ideas as to what you guys want to see i i think i know what i'm gonna do but um i'm definitely open to um ideas but anyways the water is in now we need to refill our bucket for sure so there we go and then uh these vines should go mm, somewhere right <laughs> uh maybe we'll just put them uh too flat too flat no 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 no. when i do these vines in in buildings and caves and stuff i try to make sure stuff doesn't look flat like that that's really flat so looks a little weird to me so maybe uh well we tried that one too <laughs> where can we put the vines oh no um hmm maybe we just put them over over here for now now uh the next thing that i kind of noticed is uh these hanging cave things uh they're all the same height which is a big no-no right like that's just not not a good look so if we have some that are a little longer than others so maybe this one can be two and then we have you know some ones in here i think that would help uh decorate the cave even more now of course i i still need to get mossy cobblestone in here but we need a vine farm for that and i haven't done that quite yet so 
Um, it, it's just something that I know about that needs to get done. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to try in here is maybe a little bit of andesite. I, I don't know if andesite would really work here, uh, but I figured we could try it, right? Like, just tiny little patches here and there. I, I think it would work because, I mean, it's just gray, right? Like, like why wouldn't it? Um, but the thing that I'm looking at here is, uh, is it too much? Like, we have a lot of cobblestone, and we have a lot of stone. Um and just textures going on. So I don't know if, uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot that that was a thing. Um, oh, you know what? Is this a thing too? I'm sure it is, right? Like, uh, ha, it is. Um, that's awesome. We need to use it. I think the andesite is going to work though, as long as I don't go uh, too overkill with it, right? Like if I place just small amounts, so like maybe a little slab up there and and then, uh, hmm, maybe a slab there, and yeah, something like this. So I'll go ahead and <laughs> and finish this project up, and then uh, we will move into the brand new blocks, which are, are really cool. So the 1.4 chain update added two brand new furnace upgrades, in, in, in a sense, to Minecraft. Uh, so to craft these things, uh, you'll of course need, I guess, two furnaces. We might as well do that now. And then, uh, for the first one, which will be the smoker, you'll need four logs, just like that crafting bench. Boom. There we go. Uh, we'll come back to the crafting table for the other one in a bit. Uh, but we need to take our coal. I have a lot. I, I will be storing that in block form eventually when we have a, a proper storage room. Uh, but this is the smoker. We'll put the smoker. I, I... I think over here, I, I was thinking about this wall being like a bit of a furnace wall. So maybe we'll expand the cobblestone down just a little bit. Uh, so I have uh, a bit more room, right? So there we go. Something like that, that just for now. Uh, but anyways, the smoker. The smoker is pretty similar to the regular furnace in the sense that uh, one coal will burn eight items inside of this thing. But the catch here is um, the items that the smoker will actually burn. Cobblestone. Uh, does not work in a smoker. So like your normal smeltable items, that's not going to work. You need food. The smoker is only for food items. And if you take a look here, this is going much faster than a normal furnace would uh, be going for for beef. Like it's crazy. And side note, um, <laughs> I know this is really off off subject, but the sunset in these caves or in this cave, it's beautiful. I I, I don't know. I just really like this. Um, <laughs> like the colors right i don't know guys it's like i think this is it um that's that's pretty cool <laughs> it's so nice and calming anyways the smoker will work for any edible item so that means kelp uh baked potatoes which i think i should get on uh, beef all of that type of stuff so we'll go ahead and throw the rest of our beef inside of this thing might as well just throw like half a stack of coal in it for now i love the animation on the outside this thing looks so so good and then the little particle effects coming out of the top i don't know i i think mojang did a really really nice job with this block it's it's really cool i i wish it was approached a little differently and instead of speed maybe we uh, conserve a little bit of coal when cooking in here but it is what it is it's kind of cool and that's pretty much all about the smoker so um, I think we should move on to the next profession oh profession I <laughs> I meant move on to the next block but this is for the butcher villager profession now to make uh, the next upgrade we actually need to smelt up some stone as of the 1.14 update, we can actually turn certain items into their smooth variant, meaning stone into smooth stone, which looks really, really good. And I can't wait to actually have the opportunity to use this block for building. I think this looks or would look really good in like a forge or something like that. But anyways, we need uh, three of this stuff. <laughs> so uh, any minute here, uh, there we go. And then we go over here and we do three uh of the smooth stone then we do a furnace and then finally iron ingots along the top for a blast furnace the blast furnace is the other furnace upgrade that was added in 1.14 we'll put this thing right here for now uh just temporarily <laughs> that was like perfectly in sync uh but 
Yep, blast furnace. But inside of this thing, we can also, of course, not cook up cobblestone, just like the smoker. The blast furnace is used for ore smelting. This thing cooks up ores just as fast as the smoker cooks up food, which is much faster than the plain old furnace. I think the blast furnace will be really, really useful after those long mining time lapses that I did, or at, at least the one that I did last episode. The, this thing is so nice for quick ore smelting. Now you can also smelt armor down into, I, I think, nuggets with the blast furnace as well, which is kind of cool. This furnace upgrade is tied to the armor villager profession, I believe, and yeah, that's pretty much the blast furnace. There's actually not um, too much to know really about these two blocks. They're just basically furnace upgrades. Now, I think we should probably come in here and throw a plain old furnace in the middle, and then we might be able to, to customize this a little bit. I think we could make our little smelting area a little nicer if we actually like push this wall back and, and make a bit of like an indent area back here. I, I like the idea of, you know, having everything kind of visible. Um, like, I guess we would still see them from here, but um, I, I think we should set these things back a little bit um, so we can kind of customize their little area. But I do have a stack in here, so I'm going to have to let that smelt up. I have a lot of ores that I need to get on smelting up, um, <laughs> like big time. Uh, by the way, the Blast Furnace does like iron and gold. I'm not sure if it really does anything else, um, but iron and gold. So we'll let that guy go. And I think in the meantime, we can start spreading our floor back into here a little bit. Uh, so we'll say maybe there and oh man, the cows, the cows are crazy. I don't know if you can hear them, <laughs> uh, but maybe we do something like that. Then I could see like pulling this out and, ah, uh, you know, this could be a, an opportunity for the smooth stone. So let's see, um, boom, 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 like that. And then, yeah, that'll move back. I think that looks nice. I think, yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how that turned out, but I do need another like andesite slab or, or two maybe even in here to, I think, better round this cave. I like how the cave looks really like gradual sloping back over there. So I'll go grab those and um, I'm like half tempted to place item frames above these things to kind of symbolize what they are. Um, but I just don't know if that's really a smart use of my leather right now. I need to really get like 10 more so I can have, you know, an enchanting setup. So maybe we'll pass on those item frames for now. I already need to make one more today. Um, so yeah, we'll pass on the item frames, but I, I think this is pretty good. Now, the next thing that we need in here is more storage. I wanted to do this off camera, but then I thought, you know, we should really be doing this on camera, probably. So let's place a chest there. That'll be, I guess, for like bed related things. Um, and then we need more in here somewhere. I would do barrels, but the floor is all spruce wood and barrels are spruce wood color. So I think we'll need to maybe get a little more creative with our storage in here and say like maybe we hide one up there i don't know what we could really put up there <laughs> maybe that one's decoration uh for decoration but we could add one there maybe and then hmm uh maybe even one sitting there for like s smelting stuff so i could place like coal and maybe just ores in general inside of this chest that could be a good idea actually what if we pull this out and uh, since I don't have an immediate idea for that chest, we'll move that over here and do like a double wide chest facing the furnaces, almost making, you know, a, a mini room here. And that will be where all of my ores and coal and, and everything like that goes. I think that's probably a good plan. Um, we'll wait on placing a chest there for now. That's fine. And then of course we have all of our storage chests that are down here, I, I don't think I need to really move all of this inside of the base. It's, it's, I think that would be unnecessary. So we'll leave a lot of this stuff just kind of out here for now in the entrance of the cave. Um, and yeah, I think that'll be fun. But with all of this iron, I think it's time 
to actually make an anvil as well. I, I think we'll talk about the anvil a little bit more when I have more of a use for it, but first we'll need actually three iron blocks. It's been a minute since I crafted one of these things, so here we go. Three iron blocks like that, and then an upside down T. So boom, anvil. Anvils are very, very cool uh, because they can rename things. So we can take, you know, an iron axe in here and rename it to whatever I want, like just axe or something. Uh, but what I actually want to rename is our first diamond. I, I like the idea of keeping our special items, like the first pick, uh, the first diamond maybe, maybe our first set of elytra, but I don't know on that one. Um, elytra are sometimes a little more difficult to get, maybe like the dragon egg or something, but I guess that doesn't need a frame. But <laughs> yeah, basically keeping our first item somewhere. Eventually, I will be doing a comment of the day thing. And um, I think uh, inside of that building, the hall or whatever we do, I, I could place these kind of uh, memorabilia items, I guess you could call them. But for now, I guess, I guess over here, we'll do an item frame. Uh, oh, because of the fence. Fences are 1.5 blocks tall, I guess. And so... We'll place the frame there, and then we need to name the diamond. So inside of the anvil, throw your item, um, and then I want this called, I, I think, um, how do I unhighlight? There we go. Our first diamond. Um, there we go. So something like that. And then uh, it will cost you one level to rename something. So we went down a level. That's fine. And there we go. Our first diamond is right there, and then I'll move the pickaxe inside of here as well. Because that kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's a good idea. And I'll I'll try my best to keep track of these items. <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose them. Um, that's the thing is like, I don't want to lose them. Um, so <laughs> I don't think we really need to rename the pick. But um, I think we'll, we will. Uh, so we'll say like, first pickaxe or something i i don't i don't know why i'm placing exclamation points i'm excited about it <laughs> so there we go uh first pickaxe first diamond and uh i think that's perfect uh that's a good idea um for now so if there's anything else that i should be saving you tell me i i already used up my first sword so that's gone um i technically have the first chest plate still but i don't know if we need everything right like I don't want to save each and every little item. I, I don't know if that's really necessary. Now, uh, I think we actually pretty much have all of the big project stuff done and out of the way. Uh, so I'd like to go off track here finally at the end. And, well, you need to go. Um, my babies keep e escaping uh, that small little spot. Uh, not really that big of a problem, though. But anyways, I'd like to talk about plan. Oh. Oh. Uh, plans a little bit and uh, to talk about those I needed to go across the river mm. I don't want them to see me oh he sees me is it really just him where's the rest of his his gang um well the coast looks clear let's go for it guys let's do this uh Get out of here. No, not on my property. <laughs> You're gone. Uh-huh. Uh, not that that's my land. Uh, my land is the hill, I guess. But <laughs> uh, that's our first pillager kill. Nothing cool. Uh, I, well, I'm sure we'll kill a lot more of those later on. I wonder where the rest of the guys are, though. That's what makes me nervous. But anyways, some plans. So I'm thinking about a bridge in here to to better connect this area to the rest of the world. And then eventually doing like a road maybe over to the village and then a road over to wherever we live. I've been thinking about it and I just don't know if this is a prime location for a base. I think I'd like to be a little more central over on the map that we made uh, just because I like the idea of being in the middle of a map and also, oh, the map's inside. Uh, anyways, and also um, if we were say like over here in this plains biome, I know I saw an ocean over here, so we have a, we would have like that huge ocean. Then we have, you know, all of the forests surrounding us, and then I'm not sure what's over this way. But basically, if we were to stay over here, we we don't have a whole lot of biome diversity. We do have the ocean access over there, 
But yeah, it's all like a plains biome and spruce forest and, and then plain old forest. And I don't know if I like this backdrop for a base. You really have to find the perfect location. So I, I think we might need to do another exploration episode soon and, and scout out a base location. Um, but yeah, basically that's kind of what I wanted to talk about here right at the end. But I think other than that, um, that should be about it for our episode today of the guide. Um, so I saw you guys liked music in one of the episodes. I will try and do that a little more. Maybe not every episode, but, but sometimes. But anyways, um, thank you guys very much for watching. If you'd like early access to these episodes, uh, check out my Patreon. Um, that is one of the benefits of being a patron, um, and I appreciate that greatly. And yep, thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.